Hello guys, it is the awesome Wolf of Valdivar. Today I am going to talk a bit about airsofting as a hobby and how do you start it. Well, first of all, to start airsoft, you don't need a gun first. First, you need friends who play airsoft as well. So then, you go and play your first game with them and you borrow the guns from your friends. Instead of just like first, you know, buying an expensive gun, then uh, going to the we go to play with them, and then you don't like it, like the hobby, and that pretty much just sucks. So let me. Uh, so then you just go and play the game with them by borrowing borrowing guns from them. So if you like it, then you can buy a gun. But first of all, do not buy a gun. First, you need good footwear, uh, a mask, like, let me just get my airsoft stuff here, so, a mask, the mask can also be pro bought uh, with a gun, well, not like, you shouldn't buy a package that comes, you shouldn't buy a package that comes with a mask and the gun, because those masks are usually made cheap, but, uh, but the imp most important thing to buy first is uh, shoes. If you already have good shoes, then no problem. But some sort of good shoes where you can run in the forest and stuff. So then some good tips for a first gun. Uh, well, I think that I like... Well, I began my hobby with this, uh, it is the M4A1 combo package, it, it includes uh, two magazines, uh, it has some BBs with it, and a speed loader, and it's not like the most powerful weapon that there is or anything like that but it's a good one to get so then you go and play with that and if you like if you like it you should buy a backup weapon so I think that a good backup weapon is something like let me just get this here Something like an easy to operate mini pistol. This one comes with two magazines. So, something like that, that, that as a backup gun. So, then you just play a lot of games with your friends. Uh, you have fun. And what about when you run out of BBs? What kind of BBs do you buy? Well, I would say that, first of all, do not, oh, first of all, about the guns, do not get some sort of Chinese shit, because it's bad, it breaks easily, and nobody likes it. Well, then, to the BBs, what if you run out? Uh, do you buy the cheapest, or do you buy the best? Well, I'd say that you buy the best BBs that there is for your money because you should you you can just like get a pair like a little bit of you know those little crappy plastic drips that you get from like a grocery store with this with those mini pistols you should get something like this I know it is a bit pricey but it's really worth it, they are very good, and you should of course always get what you can get with your money. And no, that's, that's not what I was about to say. Oh no, uh, you should get of course something that fits to your guns. And like almost all airsoft guns use uh, 6mm bullets, uh, like all of my guns were all guns. Use six millimeter BBs, but 
Uh, but the weight is what really matters. These are 0 0.20 grams. That's good for my rifle. And pretty much every gun shoots actually any kind of, well, BBs. But the thing is that uh, some guns are just made for the other ones. But that you don't really have to care about that. But the... What well, heavier BBs, that means the 0 0.20 grams, get you a better, uh, more straight uh, flight course, but then the, uh, what's the word, lighter ones get you a uh, better, well, uh, like, the, it goes faster and further, but it doesn't go as straight as the uh, heavier ones, so uh, I'm going to be, of course, doing more videos about airsoft. But this was just like a quick tutorial. Let me let's see what uh, what uh, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.